Here we are with Browns offensive coordinator Freddie Kitchens. What did you think of your first game calling the plays in the National Football League against the Chiefs? You know, I thought it was uh, it was fine. You know, there's several things that I'd like to have back. I uh, would have changed and, and called differently, but I think that's always going to be the case. But the thing I would emphasize more than anything is is our offensive staff and myself and the quarterbacks, the running backs, the offensive line, everybody has a hand in that and a part in that. And, and I'd need to know just information on what they like, what they dislike, uh, what they want to run more of, you know, because if they believe in it, it makes it a lot easier to call. And, uh, you know, last week was a tough week. Uh, and our offensive staff stayed together and, and we put together a decent plan and uh, we were able to execute it. And, and I tell these guys, I've told these guys for a week now that, you know, coaches coach and players play. And they went out and played and they executed for the most part uh, throughout the day. Baker mentioned in his post-game press conference that he felt like it was a more collaborative process this week, that you and he worked together, kind of like what you were just talking about. Right. Is that how you like to do it, work with your quarterback, kind of like you probably saw in Arizona with Carson Palmer? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's the way I was brought up in this business uh, from the standpoint of even when I was playing. Uh, if I didn't like something, it wasn't getting called. And, and uh, you know, and Todd did that too to a certain extent. It's just I wanted to have an ongoing dialogue with the quarterback on an everyday basis, and I wanted to get his feel for something. And, and it may just be something that we're working on to run a couple of weeks later, uh, but I want to see his progression with that particular play or read or check or whatever it may be as the day goes on and as the weeks go on and see when it's ready to go. So your first game, Kansas City, high-flying offense. Now Atlanta, another high-flying offense. Does that impact how you view it and to the sense that you say, hey, we either have to try to keep them off the field or we know we're going to have to kind of score in a track meet? Well, I think, uh, you know, any, in the game of football, it's kind of the ultimate team sport. So you have to, uh, you could, it's a team within a team on offense, but then you factor in defense and special teams. You've always got to be kind of in sync together. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of that last week trying to make that happen. And, and this week's more the same, but it doesn't matter really, uh, you know, who you're playing. Everybody in the NFL can score uh, most of the time. And, and we just got to do that on a week-in, week-out basis. And of course, sometimes it's more important than others. Um, and this is probably one of those weeks.